Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you my review of the Peak Design. This is their mobile ecosystem. One of the unique things that I've always liked about Peak Design products, whether it be for photography or in this case for mobile, is the fact that they don't design just a single product and engineer around the needs of that one application, but rather they tend to think about how their products are going to work in conjunction with other of their products. And so for that reason, they have been one of the best companies that I have dealt with in terms of developing a complete ecosystem where everything kind of works together. And that's certainly true of their mobile products as well. After swapping out the case on my iPhone 14 to a Peak Design uh, version a few months ago, I can tell you after using it over the course of that time that I'm pretty delighted with the Peak Design approach to mobile. So let's start by taking a look at the case itself. Now everything basically works around what Peak Design calls their Slim Link, which is kind of a combination of a magnetic but then also a mechanical lock that allows it to go on mechanically onto some things, but in other cases allows it to do both magnetically but also in a locking mechanism so I can't just pull it free but it requires that lock to actually be released. And how they apply that really depends on how much vibration is going to be introduced into the system. So it does add some added versatility to just kind of the MagSafe design uh, from Apple itself. The Peak Design case is MagSafe uh, compatible, however, and so that means it works with some of the existing things that I have, be it my existing uh, wireless charger, be it my existing car mount, or I have a mount at my desk. All of those things, it works fine with that because they were already MagSafe compatible themselves. But in this case, I have gone beyond that and I have used multiple of their bike mounts on two of my bikes. I've used a car mount, I've used a mini tripod, I've used the wallet accessory, I've used what they call the creator kit. So for each individual item, I'm going to give you a very brief breakdown of what it does and also what it costs. Now when it comes to the colors of the cases itself, it really depends on the model itself. What I find is that the newer models tend to have more color varieties. And so in the case of my iPhone 14, there were only two color choices. I ended up going with what they call charcoal. To me, it's kind of like the prototypical peak design look that goes along with you know multiple backpacks and other accessory straps that I have. It just kind of looks like peak design in my mind. But if you go to a newer phones like the iPhone 15, there's at least half a dozen different choices there that you can choose from. Now, there is a variety of materials that are a part of this, but most importantly, along the edge, the bumper sections, there is really high-end rubber that is there that gives you a lot of resistance to bumps. Uh, it does have just a little bit of a lip to help to protect the screen on your phone. And then the primary back material is this a really high quality nylon that is a typical finish on a lot of their things. It has water resistance. Um, it's just a really durable uh, product, which is really important when it comes to Peak Design products because they guarantee them for life. That's true of all of these things. The other thing that I stood out to me is that I, I find a varying degree of feel with different phone cases. Some of them end up making the buttons feel quite mushy, but in this case, uh, the Peak Design uh, case, the buttons feel still nice and responsive, and so I definitely appreciate that. You know, you get used to the mushy feeling, but it's nice to have actually responsive buttons. So for the actual case itself, it runs at $39.99 USD. And so in and of itself, it's a very nice case, but it becomes uh, much more appealing when you start to pair it with other things that you might need. One of the things that's kind of a must for me is a wallet. I tend to use wallet type cases. And so while the Peak Design doesn't have built-in space for cards, what it does have is two different options for a wallet that just magnetically attaches on there and allows you to carry along some cards with you in case, you know, instead of carrying an additional wallet. Now, one of the really nice things about the Peak Design wallet is the fact that you can take it from phone to phone. And so in the future, you switch phones, you can still use the same wallet attachment. Obviously, I would recommend probably going with the same color and so that it matches. But remember, the wallet itself is guaranteed for life. And so even if it starts to wear, you can get it replaced and you're going to be able to use this for a long time. Now it can hold up to seven cards in there and there's a couple of really important things and that is that right now I've currently got three cards in there. I'm using the slim version and more on the other version in just a moment. 
in the slim version, what I find that's important to me is that number one, they're guaranteeing it's not going to demagnetize cards, obviously very important. The other thing that's real interesting to me is the fact that it still magnetically attaches to the various different things, even when you have multiple cards in there, as I do at the moment and you have that attached to the phone. And so it's a really uh, clever pass-through system that allows that magnetic charge to continue. Now the kickstand version is a little bit thicker, but what it does do is it has a little bit of a hinge at the top that allows it to hinge out and allows you to use that as a kickstand. I preferred the slim version myself because I want to keep things as slim as possible. Your mileage may vary. As far as cost, you're going to pay $49.95, 50 bucks for the slim version and 60 bucks for the kickstand version. So let's talk about bike mounts. I've actually had one of these bike mounts for a while because I did take a brief look at some of Peak Design stuff when they first started to introduce it a few years ago. The problem was is that at the time they didn't have a case for the phone I was using. And so while I could look it over, I couldn't really do a thorough review because I didn't really have an actual application for it. So I have had a few of these accessories that I have continued to use that allows me to look at some of the older versions versus the newer versions. And so there is some updated design to the bike mount, but it functions pretty much the same way. I've actually, because of not having a reliable bike mount before, unfortunately I have had uh, phones and iPods come off before and you can see from this iPod, it got this crack while I was out for a ride and it rattled itself free from that. That's never going to be an issue with the Peak Design bike mounts for the simple reason that they utilize not just magnetic, but they also utilize that mechanical lock on the slim lock system. And so literally you cannot remove that without exercising the mechanical release portion. And so as a byproduct, I have 100% confidence as I'm riding along, even over rough and bumpy conditions, that it's going to stay mounted. That's really, really important. They do include multiple sizes of spacers in the box to make sure it mounts on your handlebar and fits appropriately. Uh, it comes with an optional thumb screw if you feel like you're going to want to move it around a bit. And in particular, if you might want to rotate it down in front to record your ride at some point, you have the option to quickly do that with the thumb screw if you attach that. The unique thing also here about this design is that you can very quickly mount it in either vertical or horizontal position. And so depending on how you want to view your phone and the information on it, you have the option to set it up that way. So this retails for $69.95, 70 bucks. And if you are a regular cyclist, it's well worth investing in because it's gonna give you great peace of mind. Your phone's gonna stay where you want it and allow you actually to do some additional things with your phone. If you're in some kind of really unique situation and you wanna record a sequence, just flip that on down, use your phone that you got already and uh, film your ride at that point. Now, another option here we have is the mobile tripod. The mobile tripod can be used, uh, again, it just magnetically attaches. It can be used as a kickstand. You just put all three of the legs out at the same time, or you can reverse it over and you can use it for uh, to set your phone at like a on a tripod, a, basically a desktop, uh, a tabletop tripod to record, you know, filming yourself for meetings, FaceTime, you know, various things like that and save you having to hold the phone yourself. Obviously, once again, you have the ability to put it in a vertical or horizontal position. There's a nice little precise ball head in this. It's all machined aluminum and, uh, and a nice ball head there that allows you to get it to the spot you want and it will stay there. And because it is so slim, it's actually something you could actually slip in a pocket. Or if you, you know, if you're going into the situation where you're going to need it, you literally could put it on the phone and just carry it on the phone until you're ready to use it. Now there are a variety of car mounts, a couple of different styles here. And so in both cases, they are all machined aluminum. They have a ball head there and they attach via a 3M type tape to your dash. Obviously you're gonna want a non-textured surface to get your best seal points. And uh, then it uses the magnetic attachment point to put your phone on there. The ball head allows you to make fine adjustments to get it where you want. And so obviously that's very useful. I haven't actually mounted this in my vehicle for the simple reason that I already had a mount in there that I was content with. The one thing that I might consider switching to in the future is that these different mounts or car mounts that they have, they come in two different variations. You can actually get them in the passive version that I've got here, but you can get them also as an active uh, car mount that has a charging, basically this becomes not only magnet, but a charging pad that also allows you to charge your phone while you have it attached to it. 
And once again, this does work with other MagSafe compatible phones and cases, so that's obviously very useful. The price point is $45 for the non-charging version and $80 for the charging version. Um, for me, looking ahead, I would say the extra 35 bucks is worth it to get the charging option, and that way you can make sure that your phone is always getting charged without having to worry about attaching a cable to it. The final piece of the puzzle that I actually have here to demonstrate for you, there are some other options that you can look at, but this is called the Creator Kit. And essentially what it is, is co combining a few of these elements we've already seen with a mount to an Arca Swiss compatible starting point. And so this will allow you to do, you know, attach to GoPro, you can put it, because it's Arca, you can put it right onto a tripod like this. You have the ability to, you know, move it back and forth. And so to set things at whatever position that you want, but then you also have the option, because it's ARCA compatible, to utilize it with some of the other Peak Design products, say like a capture clip. And so if you attach it into the capture clip, you can actually use it. If that's mounted on a backpack, for example, you could use it, uh, again, in place of like a GoPro as an action camera for a certain sequence, because you're locking in, once again, this is using both the magnetic and the locking mechanism to make sure that it is not going to come off. And so as a byproduct, you could, again, utilize your phone instead of buying a GoPro, utilize your phone and get some action footage through it like that. And so another really flexible tool there, and uh, this retails for 50 US dollars. And so obviously if you add all of that up, that adds up to a significant amount of money. But if you're just buying the various pieces that you want, it's not terrible on that, that front. And unlike you know, most of the Amazon uh, products you know, coming from you know, some unknown third party, those products come largely unwarranted or warranted for a year or so. And I certainly have worn many of those things out before. These come with a lifetime warranty. So yeah, you're spending a little bit more up front, but you can actually save money in the long run for the simple reason that they're not going to wear out the same way. And thus, I think that makes Peak Designs products you know, very appealing in that sense. They're more of a, an investment rather than just a, a you know, kind of quick impulse type purchase. And I will say that I really love the actual case itself. And that's, that's really the bottom line. If you don't like the case, then it's, it's, you're not gonna enjoy the system. I really do like the case. I think it looks sharp. It keeps everything nice and sleek and it seems to provide good protection. I love to say that I haven't dropped this phone since I've had it on there, but I'd be lying. It's been dropped a few times. I've had no issues. Yes, I do have a screen protector on there. The screen protector has not cracked. I've had no issues at all. And so at the end of the day, I have really enjoyed the Peak Design mobile lineup. And I hope that this has helped you to get just a little bit more of understanding of what the various pieces are and how they work. I'm Dustin Abbott, and if you look in the description down below, there are links to various things, and so you can purchase or get more information. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and let the light in.